Hey everyone, Dr. Zio here again, and today on my Dino Fury to Cosmic Fury character summary series, we're here to talk about the Pink Ranger, Amelia Jones. The Pink Ranger, and arguably the protagonist and most important character Dino Fury, Amelia Jones is smart, dedicated, and passionate. In the series first, Dino Fury opens with a focus not on the Red Ranger, but rather Amelia as she arrives at her job at Buzz Blast. We're introduced to Amelia as a woman who works for the third place of Dino Fury, that being Buzz Blast. Being a journalist, we do see Amelia cover some stories, though most of Amelia's downtime from Saving Pine Ridge is spent investigating supernatural sightings around the city. And that's where we meet Ollie, as Amelia is following a lead around Dino Henge, where she mistakenly shoots the boy with her spook snare, thinking he's a ghost or something. Shortly thereafter, the two become rangers, being inducted into the rangerdom by team leader and red ranger, Zato. Amelia possesses the strongest story arc throughout the series. Where Zato's quest to find Rafcon is forgotten for long chunks, Dino Fury never goes too long without reminding you that Amelia was raised by her grandfather, Pop Pop, because her parents disappeared in mysterious circumstances. A further mystery set up in Season 1, Episode 11, McScary Manor where we find out that Pop-Up used to work at the secret government organization, codenamed Area 62, and saw all sorts of spooky things, further validating Amelia's love for the supernatural, and explaining exactly why she wants to find the supernatural beings, because that's how she wants to find her parents. She thinks that they were taken in some sort of supernatural circumstance. Additionally, this episode gives us a rare moment in Dino Fury, the chance to see someone other than Zato pilot the Megazord. Throughout the rest of the series, Amelia is put through various precarious circumstances, such as having to fight Boom Tower in the Ranger's base, take command of Buzz Blast for a short while during Jane and Jayborg's Around the World in 80-something Days excursion, and more. As I mentioned in Ollie's video, the two share a lot of headbutting moments as Ollie rebuts any supernatural talk that Amelia tries, but they eventually satisfy Madame Indigo's prophecy and become a couple. The mystery surrounding Amelia's parents come to a head with the Dino Fury three-part season two finale. Pop-Pop reveals that Amelia's parents were Rafconians who were taken prisoner by the people who are working at Area 62. Yes, this makes Amelia a bona fide Rafconian with antennae and mind-reading powers to boot. Throughout the rest of the season two finale, we find out that before they became Void Knight and Void Queen, the season one and two villains were Tarek and Santora, Amelia's parents. Tarek needed the Sporex to power his device that would save Centura from an injury she sustained after an accident that forced everyone to abandon Area 62, with the couple being locked inside and giving baby Amelia to Pop-Pop for safekeeping. With the family reunited and the Sporex in safekeeping with the Morphin Masters, six months go by wherein Centura is now pregnant with a baby girl and living with Tarek at Area 62. Where will Amelia's journey take her as she dons the role of leader and Red Ranger of the Power Rangers Cosmic Fury team? Only time will tell. And now, here's a list of all the important, story-focused, and just some fun episodes featuring Amelia that you can watch. Otherwise, I'm Dr. Zio. I thank you all for watching or listening on your favorite podcatcher. And you know, I do ask that you like, share the video, share the audio, whatever you can do, uh, because it does help with the YouTube algorithm and the algorithm on various parts of the internet. It just helps me get more opportunities in the future. Otherwise, again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you all have a good week. Ciao.